Hi, welcome to Washington Middle School. I'm Dr. Burton, Principal. I'm Kathy Wilkin, Dean of Students. I'm Melissa Frankel, Assistant Principal of Operations. And I'm David Roman, Assistant Principal for Teaching and Learning. Hi, Hi. Welcome, welcome to, to Washington. Washington. We're your tour guides. My name is Matt. I'm Michaela. And I'm Camilla. Let's go. This is where by the main entrance, we'll just start off with the main office. And here's the office. Here we have Ms. Miller and Ms. Bowers. They're our office professionals. And to the left is Mr. Roman's office. And, and straight ahead is Dr. Burton's office. Down the main hallway, there's works of art and drawings. This is student services. If you lost an ID, need an ID, need a tardy pass when you're late to class, just come by student services and they'll help you out. Now that we're in student services, we'll start off with Ms. Wilkins' office. She's our ID. Further down the hallway, that's Ms. Frankel's office. She's our assistant principal. In the last room in this hallway of the stu in student services is Ms. Brathfield's office and she's our social worker. As you walk down the main hallway, you'll find yourself right next to the, the nurse's office. That's where you go if you have any emergencies you'd like to deal with. Where do you put your, your stuff, you ask? Well, down here is where your locker's going to be. You're going to have accommodation of your home and your, obviously your own locker. Library, but you have to be really quiet because people take tests and read. Hi, I'm Matt Johnson, and this is the gym. This is where basketball and volleyball teams will take place, as well as other sports and practices. This is where the fitness area is. This is where PE, classes, work out, and, and go on champions. This is a multi-purpose room. In the multi-purpose room, this is where cheerleading and palm practices take place. And wrestling. And now we're going to be showing you around the fine arts hallway. So, um, these first doors right here are some classrooms that are used. Um, this door here and the next door is the entrances to the art classroom where Miss O teaches art. Um, and this is also where Art Club takes place. Um, room 153 right here is the health classroom where you can go for health classes sometimes. Um, this is A room where you have um, punishments that you go to. Um, Right here is the music room where music classes and choir is taught. And then right here are the two lunch lines that you guys are going to need to know when you guys go to lunch every day. And then if you follow me down this way, um, this is where the cafeteria is. And this is the cafeteria. Right here, this is where class rehearsals take place. This is where you place your instruments, and so is there. And that's the percussion area. This is the tech center where you can take electives like sewing, foods, or even wood shop. Um, so if you follow me this way, there's some classrooms where um, some classes are taught, obviously, and celebrate friendship takes place. Um, these are some cubbies that you put your stuff in when you come in to take a class. Um, and then through this way, there are the kitchens where you can take foods classes. Um, this is where the majority of the computers in the school are. So if you ever need to study or look something up or do something for another class, you can come in here and do it if you have a pass. Um, through this door over here, 
that's the wood shop where you can do a lot of projects with um, your classes. So now the clubs and activities. Good grade, Janae. Woo! Hey! Get over here! Go back and walk. When I was young, I, I would read books like this. They're picture books, and they don't have much text on them, so not very challenging. Then, I would read books like this. They're graphic novels, and have many pictures and some text, and some nonfiction books. These are a little bit more challenging than picture books. Then I would move on to chapter books, but they're kind of shorter and have no pictures. Then I would move on to chapter books like this that have more complex stories and more pages. Soon enough, I'll be able to read books like this. It's not like we're going to win. Oh, yes, we are. So my favorite part of the general way is actually the eighth piece. Never let anybody tell you you can't do anything. That's most important because you are truly the only person who can stand in your own way.